Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Divya Madan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is yet another video of NEET PG Basics and today we are going to study about the Universal Immunization Program, the revised one. Uh, the basics here are going to revolve around the dose of the vaccine, the timeline and as well as the route by which you are going to give this as well as the maximum duration or the maximum age bracket to which it is to be given. So the basics here start with the concept that is a Hindi thing, Paat Saal Saat Bar. That means in the, till the five years of age, the child has to visit seven times or seven times the child is going to be vaccinated. The first time is at birth, followed by six weeks, 10 weeks, 14, nine months, one and a half to two years, that is 16 months to 24 months, and lastly, five to six years. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times, right? Let's start with birth. At birth, the child is going to receive three vaccines. The first is the oral vaccine, oral polio vaccine. This is known as the zero dose or the birth dose. We all know two drops are to be given. This is an oral vaccine, so it is going to be mouth and the maximum age till which you have to administer this is 15 days. Followed by BCG, we all know we all have that scar that might not be there in some people, but usually we have that scar over our left arm. So intradermal it is to be given 0.1 ml in the upper left arm. We can give it till one year of age. When we talk about the dose, 0.1 ml for 1 to 12 months less than 1 month is 0.05 ml hepatitis b vaccine this is an intramuscular vaccine you give it in the left thigh the dose is going to be 0.5 ml in most of the intramuscular vaccines the dose is going to be 0.5 ml if it is intradermal it is going to be 0.1 ml and this is to be given within the first 24 hours so this covers the three vaccines at the time of birth. One is the oral vaccine, oral polio vaccine, two drops. One is an intradermal vaccine, BCG, 0 0.05, less than one month, 0 0.1 ml, one to 12 months. And lastly, intramuscular vaccine on the left thigh, that is hepatitis B vaccine. It is given to be uh, 0.5 ml, right? Now coming to 6, 10 and 14 weeks why i am clubbing this because most of the vaccines are overlapping the overlapping vaccines include pentavalent vaccine opv vaccine and rotavirus vaccine so you can see at 6 10 and 14 weeks these three are common i'm going to give opv i'm going to give rotavirus vaccine and i'm going to give pentavalent vaccine at six weeks, it is going to be the first dose. At 10 weeks, it's going to be the second dose and third dose at 14 weeks. Now coming to another common vaccine that is common to six and 14 weeks. Can you notice here, there's one new vaccine, the fractionated IPV vaccine, right? Fractionated IPV vaccine. So at six and 14 weeks, we give fractionated IPV vaccine first and second dose now coming to the one which is given in selected selected uh, states in India that's the PCV PCV1 and PCV2 so another common vaccine here is PCV1 and 2 now coming to their roots their dosages and the maximum age to which these are to be given when we talk about OPV, the dose is same, two boons in the gigi, two drops, oral, mouth, and the age duration is up to five years. Up to five years. Right? Then comes the rotaviral vaccine. Rotavirus vaccine, again an oral vaccine, but here the drops are around five drops, two ml. Right, so 2 ml. 2 ml of this vaccine is given through the mouth and the upper limit is going to be 1 year. 1 year. 
Then comes pentavalent. We all know it is an intramuscular vaccine. So the dose is going to be 0.5. It is again given in the left thigh. And the upper limit is again one year. So you can see most of the vaccine, the upper limit is one year. Except the OPV, it's still five years of age. Right? Now coming to fractionated IPV, it is an intradermal route that we are preferring here. So 0.1 ml is a dose and it is given over the right arm. It is given over the right arm. Now again, uh, one year is the upper limit max age. Now coming to PCV. PCV again intramuscular vaccine and it is given on the right thigh. Given on the right thigh to one year. Now to remember these sites, whether this left or right is very confusing at times. So I remember a vaccine baby like this. Right? This is the right side. This is the left side. Okay. Oral vaccines. We have read till now two oral polio vaccine and rotavirus vaccine that are given via mouth. On the left arm upper arm left upper arm we give bcg vaccine bcg vaccine we all have that scar whereas we have read that in cases of fipv it is given in the right arm so the other intradermal vaccine fractionated ipv is going to be given in the right arm now coming to the thigh you know at birth hepatitis b is given on the left thigh at 6, 10 and 14 weeks, when pentavalent vaccine is given, it is again given on the left side, again on the left thigh. But when we talk about PCV, it is given on the right thigh. It is given on the right thigh. Right? So this completes 6, 10 and 14 weeks. Now the next age group when we are going to visit, make this child visit us is at 9 months of age. At 9 months of the age, the remaining dose of fractionated IPV is given. Fractionated IPV, third dose. Apart from that, MR dose 1, PCV booster and Japanese encephalitis vaccine, first dose. And the subsequent visit at one and a half to two years, the booster of these doses and second doses, right? I will receive MR2, JE2, and DPT booster. DPT booster. This is the first booster. And lastly, at five years of age, you get DPT second booster. DPT second booster. So let's revise all these vaccines we first started with path sal sat bar birth dose 6 10 14 weeks 9 months 6 months 16 months 24 months that is one and a half to two years and lastly five to six years at birth three vaccines oral opv on the left side upper arm intradermal bcg left thigh intramuscular hepatitis b 6, 10 and 14 weeks, what are the common vaccines? OPV, rotavirus and penta, 1, 2, 3. What are the common vaccines of 6 and 14 weeks? It's the fractionated IPV and PCV. Then coming to 9 months, the third dose of fractionated IPV, MR first dose, JE first dose and PCV booster. Similarly, at 1.5 to 2 years, second dose of MR, second dose of JE and DPT booster. Right? And lastly, at 5 years of age, there is going to be DPT booster again. Right? After that, it's very easy. You call the child at 10 years of age for TD. And 16 years of age again for TD. The catch point here is, as soon as the child turns 5 years, the intramuscular injection of DPD is not going to be in the thigh. It's going to be in the upper arm. 0.5 ml intramuscular in the upper arm. No side is specified here in the arm you have to give in this intramuscular injection, right? And for the booster, DPT booster, the maximum age is 7 years. And for the TDs, the maximum age is 16 years. Lastly, for the pregnant woman, we know as soon as the pregnancy is diagnosed before 12 weeks, we give the first TT booster intramuscular 0.5 ml and after four weeks of the first dose again we repeat this booster 
I'll be linking this uh, revised UIP in the comment section, the link, drive link, and you can access to that. Thank you. Uh, I hope this will help you in remembering all the latest uh, revised UIP protocol.